Hi everyone. Today I'll try to find three reasons why the colonization of Mars is first pointless and second, impossible. The reason number one. The whole idea is flawed. When you hear the NASA scientists talking about humans going to Mars the first thing they talk about is the future of our kind. I agree with them to some point. Yes, we are in a constant danger of extinction, we always were and we always shall be and having one more planet with humans on it increases our chances significantly. Even when Earth takes a hit with a huge asteroid the people on Mars are alive and well. The same principle works in the exact opposite way. When things on Mars go south we still have the Earth intact. All great till now? So what if two planets face the same threat, let's say a failing star? In this case, both civilizations are dead and gone. I think our efforts are concentrated on wrong goal. In my opinion the best way to ensure species survival is to build a huge space station, let's start from one-tenth of the moon in size. It is still a huge object but at some point, we will have the ability to build a station like this. We could start from the central part and from that point we may start to grow the station. Piece by piece until it's finished. Thanks to the layered construction the outer layer would protect the inner layers. We could use the nuclear energy to power the station in the early stages to switch to solar energy in the future. Such a huge object may fit hundreds of millions inside or even billions without being threatened from the sun or incoming asteroids. The station will be mobile, in case of any danger we could just move the station out of the harm's way, something we cannot do with planets. That kind of station has the ability to be a great start for proper colonization of another world's. This is a very sci-fi idea but it is the best way to ensure our survival. The reason number two. The colonists will go crazy in no time. The human being is a very complicated creature, we need company, we need love, we need goals we need a whole lot of things to survive. People in prisons are going crazy or extremely aggressive because they are idle. If there is nothing interesting to do people are getting sick. We are talking about people on earth. Even if you are behind bars you can still look outside the bars and see the world, some trees, some birds, the sun, the rain, clouds. None of that exists on Mars. Yes you have weather on Mars but it is a weather to hide from and not to look at. There is nothing familiar out there, freaking red rocks everywhere, even the sky is different. Mars is the best place to get psychosis in months. Let's say we have 10 females and 10 males on Mars living under one roof in a closed environment, only thinking about it gives me goosebumps the size of golf balls. If one of the females will be more attractive than others the males will concentrate their attention on her, not to mention that they will compete and fight for her. The remaining females will start to hate the attractive one and turn her life into a nightmare on a barren rock. The atmosphere will turn toxic and people will start to fight each other. There is no way to avoid that, whether it's Mars or Earth we are still the same human beings driven mostly by emotions. Those people will start to suicide at some point. Things are always going great at the beginning, we are all polite, we are all cooperative but with the passing time we may see and most likely we shall see things and people very differently. Closed environment, barren hostile world outside. All the same people inside. I just can't see how this could work out, it just can't. I think the scientists know that and that is the reason why I think the Mars colonization shall be a very impressive CGI TV show. Most scientists are lying through their teeth but they are not morons, they know that. Everything that I have pointed out is very well known to scientists. There is a zero chance that those people shall survive a single year without killing each other. The reason number three. There is just too much risk. First, the journey itself is very dangerous, there is 50-50 chance that they will never get there in one piece. Even if they are lucky and the voyage was a success, even then, there is a tougher nut to crack. The landing on Mars is even riskier than the interplanetary voyage itself. One simple mistake in programming could kill everyone or even worse, the crew has landed safely but supply module did not. 
Imagine their faces, watching the sky where a burning supply module is plunging slowly into the ground. They survive the voyage, they survive the landing and within one week they will starve to death. Not a happy ending. Okay. Let's assume that everyone and everything landed in one piece and they have raised the camp and all went well. At some point in time, they'll have to remove their helmets and suits. What is the chance that they won't be instantly attacked by local bacteria and viruses? In this case, there are few possibilities. The first and the most desired is that bacteria and viruses will completely ignore the unknown form of life. The second scenario is when human organism will go full anaphylactic shock on the first contact with completely unknown substance or organism. The third case scenario is when local organisms will attack the unknown form of life. We just don't know how will the human organism react to unknown stimulants, it's a lottery with 33% chance to win and 66% to lose. Let's put bacteria aside. What if the winds are stronger than previously expected and entire colony gets wasted by a cruel weather? What if supplies were miscalculated? There are one hundreds of what ifs. Everything could go wrong and most likely will go wrong. We have evolved to survive in this certain environment and I doubt that we have the ability to survive a long period of time in another. The one and only reasonable thing to do is to send robots, humans are soft, vulnerable, humans need water food, amusements, stimulants so on. We are not made to leave Earth. We could upload one's brain activity chart to a robot and send the robot instead. The uploaded personality would need some tweaking too, imagine a jealous robot on Mars, or a robot going crazy and throwing things all over the place. It sounds funny but it is a probable scenario. To colonize anything outside Earth we have to involve as less human factor as possible. One chance to make it right is to find a way to travel faster and rotate the poor human Martians from time to time. Oops, there is another problem. What if they brought a hitchhiker with them, a dormant virus waiting for a better deal, what then? Let's just better forget about it. There are too many things that could go wrong. Tell me what you think in the comments section below. That's all for today, thanks for watching. Please share like and subscribe for daily injection of interesting stuff. Take care and see you next time.